Today, I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to do clickable audio and Canva presentations. So I have this photo presentation set up. I just used it to design in. Um, and the first thing you need to do is how you're going to bring your audio in. So if you just have an audio track, what you want to do is add a page. Go to your uploads if you just brought in a piece of audio. Upload it if you haven't. Use the upload files button. Go to audio. We're going to go down here. We're going to make sure we click on this side here. And I am going to just click this. That's going to bring in my audio. Now it's only five seconds of it because it's set up on the presentation. So what I want to do is hit that duration. And then I want to bring it out for how much audio that I need. And if I need to cut it up or whatever, I can do it all within this slide right here. But once I've got my audio the way that I want it, I want to go into File, Download. This is the key, MP4. Make it an MP4 video. I'm going to do Current Page, Done, and Download. And now while that's downloading, I'm going to go back to the slide that I want to use it for. And I'm going to go to my Uploads. It's still uploading. I want to go into videos. Now, once that's uploaded, you're going to um, upload the file back into Canva. It's MP4. It takes a hot minute. And you'll, you'll see something that looks like this or whatever color it is. It's just going to be that simple thing. All right. So now that it's uploaded, I'm going to go and I'm going to grab it. Let it upload. As you can see, my little blinky eyes. Um, and that's going to take a second. Or, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to put it in here. I'm going to put it down in the corner. Now, I don't need this anymore, so I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to delete this audio out of here. I'm going to delete that track. I'm going to go back to the one that I'm working on. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to click on this. I'm going to animate. I'm going to go right here where it says appear on click. I'm going to cut that on. It's going to say click order because you can do everything in here and, and turn that into appear on click. But that's not what we're doing at the moment. And make sure that is the only thing that is highlighted. So now that we have that, we can go and turn the transparency down. And we can move this down further down. One of the complaints that I heard from the old, the other way we used to do it is you could see the play button. You can sort of kind of see a little bit of the bottom when you put the play on the video. So what we're going to tr try to do is hide that as much as possible. So I'd put it down as far as you can in the corner, it'd still be clickable. And if you want to put something like a marker or something so you know where that's at, let's say you want to put the finger, a finger, like a little click finger or some little icon down there to know where it's at, just put it down there. But make sure your position is it's above that because if you click on the finger, it's not reaching your audio. So now let's go into presentation mode and see what it does. So I'm going to go present. And we're going to look at it. And then now I'm waiting on it. I can go here and I can click. There goes my music kicking in. And you can still see it a little bit at the bottom if you're hovering. So I wouldn't hover. So that's, that's that workaround for that. And maybe one day uh, Canva will put something where you can just do audio in a one click and have like a little audio button for that. But same goes for if you have like a video. So like I can, let's delete this and I will take, um, go to my uploads. Let's say uh, this stuff has words on it. This thing is me talking so now about that I my have book. Both of them printed, oh, what I'm going to do now is I know this is my front cover, so I'm going to flip this. So what over I want to do is take this and be here. transparent. If you and want to do a video, what I'm do is fold them in half. Now, and then sorry, I'm going to do the same phone, thing. So this is going to be a little bit difficult. As you can so see, the the uh, let me um, pause that and make it quiet. 
So as you can see, that slide already st stretched out the, the uh, length of that video. So instead of like having five seconds for each one of them, like they usually do now, the, these have the whole length of that video. So I can do the same thing there. I can go and kind of move this down a little bit. Uh, I go to elements and I can grab. Uh, let's put that in the corner position. Make sure it's behind. And if we go into present, we'll go into present again. And that goes so in there. So now that I have both of them printed. Oh, what see, I forgot. See what happened when I forgot? I forgot when I did the video, I was supposed to go to animate, apply on click, make sure that was the only thing to click. And then let's try it again. See, everybody does a little mess ups and we know how to fix it. So uh, there it goes again and I can click. So now that I have both of them printed, or what I'm going um, to Just make now, sure that if you really don't want to have that showing up, make sure that you take your, when you click it, here. just move your and then what I'm little pointer away right from it, now, sorry, and I that should kind of go so away. So that's a tip so there from keeping that, like, like showing up in the corner. So, and that's how you do that, and it's just that easy, guys. Um, thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you learned a little bit. I love you, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.